Hey guys, so today I'm just going to do a very quick overview of how to get Gaia CLI set up so you can interact with the uh, Cosmos network. You'll be able to send transactions, you'll be able to delegate, you'll be able to redelegate, uh, and uh, you'll be able to do it with either your own uh, private key or by connecting to a ledger device. So the first thing is, uh, this is uh, f focused on Ubuntu. Uh, this is actually running in a virtual machine. This is a completely fresh uh, virtual machine. And the first thing we need to do is install uh, Gaia, which is the uh, command line interface to interact with the Cosmos network. Uh, installing Gaia is a little bit complicated. So we're actually gonna use a script uh, that I've created. Um, and this script's available on my GitHub. Uh, obviously, I'll post all these links in the comments. Um, and just before we use this script, uh, just because it requires sudo, we're just going to have a quick look at what it does, make sure there's nothing nefarious in here. Um, and you can see this uh, online. Uh, essentially, this script is going to install some packages, the dependencies for uh, Gaia CLI and Go. Uh, note that this will uh, just install the latest version of Go. So it, if you have an existing version of Go, it will overwrite it. This is best done on a, on a fresh VM, but it will work on uh, uh, an existing Linux or Ubuntu installation as well. Um, we're going to install Go from the official uh, Google repository. We're going to set up the environment paths for Go and our Go bin and Go path. Uh, and then we're going to uh, check out the latest version of the Cosmos SDK. Uh, and we're going to use our make tools to uh, compile and install it. And we're also going to configure Gaia CLI to connect to uh, our uh, one of our public Sentry nodes. So essentially, once you've installed Gaia CLI, uh, it's installed, it's working, but it needs to know how to connect into the uh, Cosmos network. Uh, and in order to do that, you have to go and find a publicly available uh, node to connect to. You have to set the, the chain ID as well. Uh, so this script will actually set that up for you. You'll be up and running uh, and connected to one of our, uh, our Sentry nodes. This is one of our My Cosmos Validator public Sentry nodes. So in order to run this script, uh, we're just going to hit the roar button. And here we can see the raw output of the uh, of the script. Uh, so we're just going to grab this URL, copy it, and go to our terminal here. Uh, now, the, this is an absolute fresh uh, install of Ubuntu. So the first thing I'm going to quickly do is run sudo apt update, uh, put in my password, and also we're going to uh, install curl because curl is not installed by default. So we're going to do sudo apt install curl. And yes, we want to install it. And once curl is installed, we are ready to go. So we're going to run curl followed by our script and we're going to pipe it to bash. And this is going to download uh, the script from GitHub. Uh, and start executing. So it's going to hit return. Uh, now, as I mentioned, because it's downloading some packages, installing them via apt-get, it's going to ask us uh, for our password. So I'm just going to put my password in, hit return, and it will install the rest of the script. And as you can see, it's now going through. It's installing some packages. So what it's doing here is installing uh, GCC, which is the compiler. Uh, so it's going to be able to uh, compile the uh, the Go files, uh, but this should only take a, a, a few seconds. At this point, the script has downloaded and installed Go. Uh, so Go is now set up on your system. It's also uh, just uh, downloaded the latest version of the Cosmos SDK, and now it's compiling the, the Go files. So we'll fast forward a little bit here again uh, just to get through it. Okay, so this is now successfully installed. Uh, we can see that it's installed also with Ledger support. Uh, so we'll either be able to use this uh, with uh, a local uh, private key stored on our computer, which is not recommended, but for small amounts of atoms uh, is totally fine. 
Um, but it's also going to be working with Ledger, and we'll, we'll uh, go through how to connect our Ledger in a second. Uh, so this is set up, and uh, the final thing we have to do is just make sure our environment variables are set up. So it's going to copy and paste this source bash RC. And then I can check that it's running correctly by running uh, Gaia CLI status. And this should give us the current status of the network, which it has. So we can see that uh, we're cl correctly connected to our My Cosmos validator sentry node here. Uh, we should be able to see the block height, which is right here. Uh, and basically this means that we're now ready to interact with the network. So we can query accounts, we can look at transactions, uh, we can send transactions, and we can uh, delegate. So yeah, that's how you get set up with uh, Gaia CLI in five minutes. And uh, next we're gonna start to talk about how we connect our ledger device, uh, how we send transactions, how we delegate, and how we redelegate.